Hi everyone, this is Dan from Screaming Frog and this is the Log File Analyzer. It's a desktop app that was developed to help SEOs analyze log files. For Windows, Mac or Linux machines, it's free for the first 1000 log events, but if you'd like to analyze more, it's just £99 a year for a license. You can simply drag and drop raw server log files into this window pane here, from any server, Windows, Apache or Nginx for example, and we'll sniff the formats. No config is required and it will upload and analyze the data in the interface. I have a recent project here that was just open for the Screaming Frog website. You can see the overview tab includes a summary of data, the number of URLs crawled and found within the log file, unique URLs crawled per day, total events, events per day, and lots of information around response codes, events, and URLs in these charts here. In the top right hand corner, it shows the date range that we're analyzing. You can see it's for December 2023. This particular project is just analyzing Googlebot and Bingbot, but you can configure these completely to other search bots or browser user agents. And you can use this as a filter. So if you just wanted to have a look at Googlebot or just Bingbot, you can use that too. And we're only looking at verified search bots. So these aren't bots that have been spoofed by a crawler or by other bots across the internet. Now there's various tabs at the top that organize data by different type. So you can have a look at all the URLs found in the log file. These lower tabs also provide more information, URL details, events, referrers, and there's also a chart showing URL events over time. You can see against each of the URLs, all the data from the log file as well. So the number of events, so that's all the bots that have crawled that particular URL, the last response code, time of last response, number of days since last crawled, total and average bytes, there's a CO2 calculation, an average response time, and then the various counts for each user agent crawling that particular URL. So this tab is pretty useful finding, for finding all URLs that are in your, in your logs and also the most and least crawled URLs as well. The response codes tab has filters for different bucket, buckets of status codes. So you can have a look at any client side errors as an example. So you can see here any 404s or you can also have a look at any redirects found in the log files or indeed server errors. You can also have a look for any inconsistent responses. You can see the SEO Spider page here. The last response was a 200, which looks right. However, it does sometimes respond with a 300. So perhaps that's something for us to consider. You can also have a look at any data aggregated against user agents. So you can see that Googlebot crawls the website most. It looks like Chrome user agent 120. Referrers, also data aggregated by directories. So you can see which sections of the website are most crawled. So you can see here the SEO spider section, the user guide, and then break that down to which individual pages and how frequently they're being crawled. IPs and countries. We know that both Googlebot and Bingbot both crawl from the US. You can see there's only one country there. You can analyze data around bytes as well. So total bytes, average bytes, bytes per day, and obviously the CO2 calculation as well. So perhaps you want to have a look at average bytes. And of no surprise, it's PDFs, videos, GIFs, and images. So perhaps there's some important performance improvements around some of these particular file types that we could carry out. You can also import URL data. So if you performed a crawl in the SEO spider and have exported a CSV, you can drag and drop it into this particular window and this will match the data against the log file data and it opens up other filters. So for example, in the URLs tab over here, you can use this view to change it to match with URL data and this will show log file data over on this left hand side that you'd be familiar with number of events last res last response code etc and then you can start seeing crawl data here so page titles meta descriptions headings and data like that around internal linking for extra seo insight it also opens up some of these other filters that are very interesting as well so for example not in url data these are orphan pages and by that we mean 
URLs that weren't discovered in the crawl but were discovered in the log file. Some of these will make sense. For example, we don't link to the, the uh, non-W version of URLs on the website. However, there might be some genuine orphan pages in here that we should link to. You can also find uncrawled URLs here as well. Again, some of these might be valid. For example, these URLs here were all published in January and I'm analyzing a log file from December. But this will help you find any URLs that aren't being crawled by search engines as well. So there's lots of different ways you can have a look at the data. We hope you like the tool. And if you have any questions, do just let us know. Thanks.